Hi. I love your get up, darling. That's fantastic. Uh, hey, how's everybody doing? I'm going to do that again. How's everybody doing? So much better. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of things here tonight. First, we're going to start with watching the trailer for the movie. Shall we do that? Ro oh, 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 oh. I'll do that later. Roll the, roll the trailer. Roll the trailer. I think a few of us are going to go see that movie. Uh, so a few uh, uh, house rules, which I feel like I'm just repeating myself. You guys probably already know these things. Is there flash photography allowed at this panel? No, there is not. Is there video allowed at this panel? No, there is. Is there fun allowed at this panel? Yes, there is. Uh, oh, hey, guess what? This was a sold out panel, which means you guys helped raise $6,000 for Operation Smile. Except for those three seats down there. What, what happened there? There's three seats. Oh, we just left that open just in case. Uh, hey, um, uh, what, else can I, what else can I talk about? I'm just vamping a little bit while we uh, set up. The oh, well done. Well done. Hey, it's like Jiffy Lube. The, the Jiffy Lube of chairs, apparently. Um, all right, well, without any further ado, uh, please welcome to the stage in this particular order your cast and creators of the show, uh, Will Poulter, Kaya Scodelario, Dylan O'Brien, West Ball, James Dashner. Keep it going, folks.
Hey, thanks for coming back, guys. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Was anybody here at the Maze Runner panel last year? Yes. Nice. Yes. I was, I was talking to you guys uh, a little bit in the green room before. This is the first film we've ever had the privilege of having two panels before it's actually come out in theaters. Sure, we are so time. happy to have you back. That's right. Last time thanks, we came brother. back here, we had just finished wrapping the shoot. So, Welcome back. Yeah. And we, and we brought a few additions this time, too. Right. Yeah. Even better. Uh, so, you guys know the drill. Who's got some questions? Who's got a microphone? Volunteers? Oh, right over there on the right-hand side. You guys, like, bring your own microphones? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just whip it out of your pocket? Exactly. Hello. Um, I was at the screener yesterday, so I just want to say Whoa. fantastic chucking movie. Yay! All right. Thank, well, thank you all. Um, my question is for James Dashner. Uh, after yeah. seeing pretty much your baby come to life, what scene was the most satisfying to see in its final form? Thank you. Great question. And uh, so you loved the movie, right? Yes. That's. Who else in here has seen the movie? Who was there last night? Ah! Awesome. Okay. okay. I, we could not have been more thrilled with the response we had last night. Um, Thank you all for coming. Yeah, I think, I think you guys are going to like this movie. I think I always told Wes from the very beginning that my, the scene I was most excited about was the first time that poor little Thomas gets stuck in the maze when he kind of on a spur of the moment type thing has to make a decision and goes out there to help Albie and Minho. And Wes said, oh, don't worry, we're gonna kill that scene. And it delivered and I really like that. It's also the first time we meet a griever and they're not very nice. And so that whole five to seven minute sequence is probably my favorite moment. Uh, yes, uh, right there, right in front. Um, my question's for Dylan. Hi. First off, I just want you to know that the only thing I want out of 2014 is a hug from you. Oh my goodness. Oh. Just so you know. Get that out of the way right now? Would you? Oh yeah. boy, here we go. Yeah, please? Here we go. <laughs> Drum roll. Uh, <laughs> that is adorable. And okay. that is the last hug I'm going to allow him You're to done. give in this panel. It's over. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be a hug -a and That's not going to happen. <laughs> I really do have a question, though. Yeah. Um, okay. I went to the movie last night, and I loved it. And I'm pretty sure you were watching it with us. Um, what did you think of the final... <laughs> what did you think of the final product? And do you like to watch yourself act? No. <laughs> um, which question? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like yeah, the movie. Yeah, which question, Dylan? Um, uh... No, watching yourself is something I've uh, gotten used to, I guess. You know, you forgive certain things. You eventually, like, at first, I think when you try it, it's just, you're just so judgmental, and you're just like, oh, God, I suck, you know. Um, I don't know. This, this though, was something, uh, actually, in the first time in my career that I was able to set that aside and just appreciate what we accomplished, you know. And I was so proud of the final product, actually. And um, I actually wasn't there in the theater watching last night. I got ushered away and then ushered back. Um, and I still actually technically haven't seen the final version of the film. Like, when I saw it, there was like 20 minutes at the end where, like, all of a sudden we're just in a parking lot. Um, yeah, funny enough, shows you how we shot the movie. <laughs> um, but I am so proud of this movie and so proud of what we've done uh, to tell this story and to lift it from the page like we have. I, I couldn't be happier, and I just hope that you guys feel the same way when you see it, you know? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, man. Who's got the next question? I was there watching it with you because I love my fans. <laughs> we had to well, that's not why I wasn't there. James, he was ushered, okay? He was ushered away. <laughs> you guys might have noticed, but Dylan's kind of a big deal, so. Yeah. Don't, don't woo that. <laughs> Can I have a hug? <laughs> After the show. <laughs> Dashner bringing the fire today. This is gonna kick off. This is amazing. Yeah, just under the bus three times. Just keep doing it. Don't get wonder. You got comfortable with this, brother? <laughs> uh, who's who's got the next microphone? Oh, right over there. Yes, you. Oh, 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 sorry. I went a lot earlier than I expected. Um, uh, first of all, I just wanted to say to Will, um, I've been a huge fan of yours since you were way under six foot tall, and. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're an amazing actor, and especially what you did um, recently with the anti-bullying campaign. And I just wanted to thank you for everything that you did for your fans. 
So I may never get that chance again. But I just wanted to say that. And for my question, um, oh, I had a question. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, oh, uh, there's a clip on YouTube of the cast dancing to the wobble. Yes. But it was a short clip. And I was wondering if maybe we could have an encore, perhaps a little long. Thank God I'm not the cat. Uh, do we have the song? If you're going to do it, you want to do it while they're applauding like that. If you, otherwise, you just start saying you're awkward. That's a... Yeah, now it's just going to be silent. Yeah. <laughs> the, the wobble a cappella doesn't quite work. Wobble it's kind wobble of wobble a... Maybe they'll wobble on the wobble. way out. How's that sound? We'll wobble on the way out. We'll wobble on the way out. Okay. Wobble. All right, all right. Good idea. I'll wobble with him. I don't even know what the hell a wobble is. <laughs> Who's got the next question? Uh, yes, right over there, standing up. No, they know it. They know it. That's it. We don't remember it. You have to show us. The teacher. How about that? Before your question, before your question, how about we all wobble together? How about at the end of this panel, everyone in this studio and this audience, we all wobble together? That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Okay, Brandon. And now your question, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Um, so I'm pretty sure all three of the actors are like very different from your characters. Um, oh God, sorry, you're all looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you stand and talk into a microphone. Okay, so um, I just want to... <laughs> Breathe, babe, it's okay, come on. Okay. Right. I really love you, okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, I was wondering, like, how, if you, like, knew your characters, how, like, would you guys get along? Or would you hate each other? Or would you be friends? I don't know. That's awesome. Uh, no, I think, I think Dylan would like, that's so weird. <laughs> Dylan and Thomas would really get along. Um, I don't know, I think he's a little quieter, and I'd, like, lighten him up a little bit. But then again, you only see him in these crazy circumstances. Maybe Thomas has like this sharp sense of humor. We don't know. Scor Scorch trials. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be too much fun to get on with. Uh, <laughs> Gally's kind of a bit of a grumpy asshole and I think, uh, <clears throat> I think he'd uh, find me kind of annoying. He'd be like, what's up with your accent? Uh, I didn't realize you were so lanky, that kind of thing. So yeah, I don't think I'd get on too well with my, with my character. Um, I like Teresa a lot. I think she's very strong and feisty and there's a part of me that would like to be a bit more like her because I think she doesn't care about pleasing people and, uh, and I think as a young woman sometimes you have this fear of fitting in and you want to try and you know be please everyone and I like that she doesn't do that. She just does her own thing. But at the same time, she's a bit too intense and I'd be like, let's go for a beer and chill out. <laughs> just talk about stars and stuff. Um, but I like her. I think she's cool. Thank you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> uh, who's got the next one? Volunteers? Right here? Hi. Um, where did the mics come from? Did they, like, I'm so This is bad. really organized. They just have them. They grow wild well here. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh produce. Um, how long do you think your characters in the Maze Runner would last in a zombie apocalypse? Oh. Boom. We'll find yeah, out we'll find out soon. the next, yeah. next book. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm like, I have like this infatuation with zombies. Oh, so I'd be yeah. like, oh man, hey. And then I'd just get mauled. <laughs> but I don't know. Sometimes I, I feel like uh, zombies are so slow, you know, <laughs> that you could just like kind of deke around them and just be like, this is hilarious. <laughs> like, look at them. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I'd survive. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, my, my issue is I guess my character's scared of walls, so I'm feeling like zombies <laughs> is a step up <laughs> for, for, from that, uh, and so not well <laughs> it is the answer. Not well. Well, in the, in the second and third movies, they kind of go through their own version of the zombie apocalypse, so you'll find out. There's also roles for like 35-ish guys in those movies, right? Yes, there are. Yeah, I believe it. Thrown, thrown out. It. We'll talk later. 35-ish. Go. I didn't hear you, but I'm going to take it as a compliment. Um, Kai, what about you? How would you survive in a zombie apocalypse? Uh, or Teresa? Um, I don't... Yeah, I'm like... I don't know. Yeah, I think she'd hit him. 
but uh, they break if you hit them, right? Zombies? Yeah. Very fragile. Uh, yes. <laughs> Very fragile. They're like vases. Kick you just them, like Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Just knock them over. Oh, yeah. Shaun of the Dead. My favorite version of zombies are Shaun of the Dead because yeah. they're. So yeah, I mean, how how genius is that movie? English Honestly, film, though, right? <laughs> yep, and the yep, the one-sided competition continues. Um, yeah, they're like they're, they're slow. You can hit them. Yeah. It's like you can walk into a sea of them and just kind of whack them. That's awesome. We'd survive. What what about what about Twenty Eight Days Later though? Horrible. <laughs> and 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 that Brad Pitt one that came out, World War Z. They're so fast. Like, that's too much. <laughs> Give me the slow zombies and no zombies at all. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I want. Uh, who's got the next one? Right here. Oh, you, you wrote something down. I mean, yeah, this is legitimate. Nice. I couldn't remember it if I just was standing here. So, um, if you guys, like yourselves, were placed into the maze, do you think you could survive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd get hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't eat much. <laughs> I, no, I don't, that's a no again. I'm actually scared of balls in real life, so. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I didn't see it, sorry. Oh my god. Uh, you guys you guys can tell what an amazing actor Will is because does he seem like Galley right now? <laughs> I'm just an idiot, basically. I, sorry. Uh do we answer the question? Oh, yeah. Wait, Sorry. I guess we would all survive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. James probably, West, probably if not. you guys yeah, are trapped, I, it... I would not go into the maze. I would just live in the glade. I'd be fine there. <laughs> I right, would Gally? run and scream like a little girl and hide. Not that little girls are bad. I mean, they. I would just... Backtrack, 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 backtrack. Uh, who's got the next question? Oh, right in front. There you go. Nice shirt. All of you. I'm a high school English teacher, and we've. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, kind of going off the question that you asked last night about the quiz questions at the Q and A. Oh no, go away. Um, <laughs> Want us to go? It's <laughs> like your mom. Right. You're like, mom, mom, stop, stop. It was. I'm in a panel right now. <laughs> it was your mom. By the way. Hi, Mom. Oh my God, can we please take a picture and send it to her? Can we please do that? Ask your question, then we're going to take a picture. Oh, okay. So, um, I just got the new curriculum for my ninth and tenth graders, and the Maze Runner is on. What does ninth and tenth grade nice. mean? Uh, freshman and sophomore? How old, how old is that? 14, 13, 14, okay. 15, 14, 15, right. 15. Right. Um, So, uh, in an effort to get my students away from Cliff Notes, um, <laughs> Calling out Cliff Notes. That's an I, I, cliff notes though. I may have said in a panel yesterday that I cliff noted my way through <laughs> high school. It was an exaggeration. It's okay, so did I. Um, <laughs> I thought I'd be college. Pot, kettle, hi. Nice to meet you. All right, so. My question is, we're trying to build a new curriculum, and I was wondering what you guys, um, of the old curriculum, of books you read in English, what would you get rid of? Uh, Lord of the Flies, what kind of, no, no. You're, you're just offering uh, options, not that yeah, you I should like, get no, rid of it. No, oh. I like Lord of the Flies. Um, <laughs> Mom, go away. The Scarlet um, Letter, I Anyway, really what got. would you get rid of? If you had to choose what book would be replaced, what would you get rid of? Could I replace like my maths book with the Maze Runner? Can I do that? I think you'd have to ask your math teacher, not your just English numbers. teacher. Just numbers, just numbers, get them out and I'd have Maze Runner. I spent the whole of English cheating off my best friend Paige. So, Paige! That was the name, yeah, Paige. We know Paige. Paige. I cheated off her for the whole thing, so I don't remember. Um, <laughs> there was some Shakespeare in there, didn't really get that, so maybe. <laughs> That can go. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Such great examples for today's youth. Yeah, this is sort of like a... You're British. Anything we say is just wrong. <laughs> like, get that out of here. 
you know, they, they don't need to learn about that. Uh, the Scarlet Letter, I never really got. Right? What is that? Why do we have to study that? Go with that. You know, I think the like worst a... book ever written that I had, that I was forced to read was... Uh -huh. Don't worry, the author is not here. I'm pretty sure he or she is dead. <laughs> Madame Bovary. I didn't do any of these. But I actually loved Lord of the Flies and it actually inspired Maze Runner quite a bit, so. Inspired me too. Chuck is inspired by Piggy. And Chunk from the Goonies. What, Wes, but you didn't answer. What, is there a book? I, I'm seconding uh, uh, Dylan's entire letter. Can, can, I, can I reverse the question and say, is there one book that you actually really loved when you uh, were reading? Lord of the Flies, for me. Lord of the Flies? Lord yeah. of the Flies? Yeah. Yeah, Lord of the Flies was my favorite one in school. Um, I mean, I was obsessed with Moneyball was, uh, when I was a kid, but that was just because I'm, I'm obsessed with baseball. I don't think that's right. necessary to bring in. Uh, yes. Yes. What? No, I get it. I respect it. You? <laughs> no, Lord of the Flies for me too, and also because it's like an influence on on the Maze Runner. Yeah. So very cool. Oh, can I say something really girly, like the Lovely Bones or yeah. Time Traveler's Wife? Oh, that made me cry girly. so much. I don't um, think that's girly at all, honey. Uh, I think that's fantastic. <laughs> I went through a stage where I was obsessed with Hamlet for a while. I don't even. I love Hamlet. I admit it, I only watched movies as a kid. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Wes. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> uh, who's got the next question? Right over here? Right over there. Hi, my question's for Kaya. Uh, you went from playing... Uh, in England! England, yes! yes. <laughs> Representing. Um, as we say back home, obviously. Uh, go Arsenal. Yes! Go Arsenal. Yes! There it is. Thanks, James. Um, so you went from playing an intense character on the gritty BBC TV show Skins, which was amazing. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That's so cool. And you've gone from that to playing an intense character in a movie that's obviously going to be a huge blockbuster. So I'm wondering, is there any difference? No cheers for that? Come on. Um, <laughs> is, there, is there any difference in how you kind of found your performance? This is like an actor question. How you found your performance on that versus the Maze Runner? Like how you kind of found your way into the character? I, I genuinely believe that um, our, for want of a better word, craft it makes it sound wanky and actory, but, but our, our job, what we do, should be the same in any context. So no matter what the budget is, no matter who the other actors are or the director, you should always put every part of yourself into it because it's a beautiful experience to lose yourself in a character and to learn to respect them and, and understand them and hate them sometimes. Um, that's to me what this job is, it's what I love. So I, I you know, with this, there's, there was always a fear of, is it gonna be huge and are people gonna hate me? Are they gonna be angry that I'm not right for it? Are, are they gonna be disappointed? But you have to just completely put that to a side and do the best that you can as an actor and as a person to just fulfill that role, no matter what it is. And I like playing intense women, because as women, we are not simple. As much as the world wants us to be, we are. Yeah. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. There, we shouldn't be ashamed of having emotions and of, of messing up sometimes and, and being upset and angry. That's all part of what makes us human. So I could never just be the girl next door. I, I need more than that as a person. And I, I think we should. I'm, Grateful for that. Yeah, we should just end the panel that on should, that. I mean, that should be the last answer. That's too perfect. Let's get out of here. That was good. And thank you for your question. Uh, yes, right over there. Blue hair. Hi, guys. Um, so first of all, Dylan, Bruna Nogura sends her love. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's your makeup artist on TV. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. Yeah, I completely exactly. know who Bruno is. Yeah. I, I um, can't believe it. There's a woman named Bruno? No, Bruna. Bruno. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Bruno. <laughs> Um, so my question is, I know you guys can spend a lot of time in the makeup chair on set, um, and I was wondering how much of that sweat and dirt was natural just from being in that, like, all of, all of it. it. All of it. <laughs> how much was actual makeup? Um, well, funny enough, the makeup was just to recreate basically what was established uh, 
like my cuts and bruises and everything, they just kind of had to then mimic when they went away eventually. And that became the established thing. And uh, no makeup, just uh, a little dirt, if anything. Um, and most of the dirt was real, most of the sweat was real. E everything was real. There's nothing that, there was no makeup on the movie, like in terms of, you know, um, like action, like just conventional makeup and touch ups and that. Authentic. Uh, it's so authentic. It's embarrassing also when you come in in the morning and the makeup artist goes, You're good. Uh, <laughs> You're, you're head to toe in, uh, in crap, so you're good. Uh, go, go out and do your job. Are you sure? I don't need to... Yeah. <laughs> little Take dirt. some off. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right over here. Right down there. Hi. Um, this question is for... I have two for Dylan. Um, first, my cousin, Joelle, she couldn't be here. She had to do something, and she got really sad. Is she uh, watching right now online? Yeah, I think she is. She probably Say hi. Is. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that. Joelle? Joelle, yeah. Hi, Joelle. Where do I look? Wait a minute. Hello, Joelle. And Joelle. she loves you. Come right up here. Like, if right she up. had to do something else, then how is she watching? I don't know. Phone, phone, phone. She will phone. be watching later. Phone. She's not really committed to what she's doing. <laughs> I like it. I respect it. Joelle. <laughs> and the next question is... What are the differences you discovered from um, between playing Styles in Team Wolf and your character in Maze Runner? Um, a lot. Uh, Styles is very. Um... <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. That was the first adjective. Awesome and cool. Um... Do you guys like evil Styles? Kaya just goes, is he evil now? Still on the they catch up on my work. Um, thank you. That was so cool. Thanks, guys. Um, Styles style is so different from Thomas in a lot of ways. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's very much extroverted and uh, confident in a way that I have never been, and that's what I love so much about him. And, uh, you know, his humor and, and everything just kind of, uh, you know, comes out constantly, and he is his own person entirely, and I love that. Um, Thomas is very much so discovering himself, you know, and uh, and I think naturally more quiet and more sort of just thoughtful and pensive and, you know, introverted in that sense. Um, not as much, uh, you know, very much confident in what he believes, but uh, it takes him a little bit sort of in these circumstances to eventually project that. And, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, plenty uh, uh, differences between them. They're definitely not the same person, but I am the same person playing them. <laughs> so there's that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was amazing to get to do this and get to do such a different thing, you know? It was really cool. I love them both so much. I want them to hang out. That would be interesting. That'd be I, weird. You guys are going to be really amazed and touched by how these actors took these characters and brought them to life. I mean, it's just, it's a privilege to see someone do a, a pure, amazing, awesome acting performance, and you're going to feel that so much in this movie. So I'm just, I couldn't be more proud of these guys. Good job. Who's got the next question? Right over there. Hi. Hi. Dylan, I got a chance to meet you in New York. Yes. It's very nice that you're not eating a pretzel and I can hear you for more than five seconds. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm I just, so hungry. I know. <laughs> um, just for the cast, I want to know, there seems to be a lot of physicality in this movie. How hard was it for training for all of it? <laughs> the hardest part was uh, we didn't get any training for it. Mm -hmm. um, no, I mean, well, you know, the, the movie is insanely physical. Uh, through the audition phase, I never did any physical thing. It was all about the acting, which I thought was hilarious. Because, um, you know, most then when we get to shooting, the bulk of the shooting is, is those didn't running physical mind. scenes. And it's okay, buddy. That's not on you. Come here. Um, uh, it's, uh, there was no way to prepare for it. This all happened very fast. I, I mean, literally this was, the eight weeks that we shot this film were in the eight weeks that I had off from Teen Wolf. Uh, so I literally just flew out and maybe had a week, five days uh, to, to prepare. And I did some very minor <laughs> training. Um, and yeah, mostly uh, what got me into it was just kind of doing it every day and just getting through it. Um, you know, it was very much a thing that I just had to like, plow through and get used to and it was exhausting the entire time uh, but I loved every second of it I love throwing myself on the ground 
and having a knee injury a year later. <laughs> Which is true. Don't, oh, it's cool. <laughs> well, yeah, it sucks. I, I, I gotta say though, having watched it on like last time on sex, I've said it a couple of times, it's like, sounds cheesy, but you know, you may not know this about Dill, but he's like crazy, crazy committed. The guy put in so much effort and it was inspiring, like being a peer of peers and working with him, seeing how hard he works. The guy did hours like you can't believe, you know, and this is all very nice and it, it seems glamorous or not. The guy works so, so hard. And every scene. Was every, yeah, scene every scene. Every scene of the movie. Um, that's why you should go watch it as well. And um, he's, he's absolutely awesome. Commitment level at 110 every day. So that was really awesome, man. That's coming from someone I respect an insane amount. So that's really cool. Kaya? I didn't work out at all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> that's a good answer. I didn't have to, though. Because when, when right. she arrives... Yeah. It's just leave anyway. So. Hon honestly, <laughs> Spoiler alert. Like, uh. Honestly, the, I mean, like, what made so much sense was that, you know, it, it was great that we didn't have time to train or anything. Mm. Like, we didn't need to be trained. You know, these are... They're not athletes. These they're are normal just, kids. Yeah. They're not professional athletes. You know, that's what's great about it is that, like, you know, we, we so much, you know, the, our average physique was very right. much appropriate for these kids uh, sort of just going... I heard some chuckles. <laughs> Um, going through this and just surviving this, you know, it's sort of just, um, you know, the ordinary kids in extraordinary circumstances. I just love that, you know, so we didn't train. <laughs> Next question. Hi, so you guys are all over here. Hello. I'm so uh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's really hard. It comes you're, from like you're, here. You're wonderful. Um, well, you all are all really, really lovely. Um, I was wondering if you were a cat, what color cat would you be? <laughs> <laughs> Your face. <laughs> that was so funny. It's my favorite question ever. <laughs> Thanks. That was Thank great. Uh, I'd go green. Red. I had a black Christmas. and white cat called Merlin that died, so I'd be Merlin. Yeah. Did you just high five, high five my cat died? That <laughs> Bastard. Uh, we, were, we were high fiving because <laughs> this is how lame it was. was. Before I thing. said green, he said red, so yeah. we went Christmas. It's a bit of a bit of a Woo! <laughs> <laughs> And high-fived, at the same time, guy went, my cat died. <laughs> so, weirdest situation of all time. Awkward. That's a great... But thank That's you for your question. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great little moment. <laughs> that is... Uh, I'm sorry Ooh. about your cat. I don't know if he actually died, but we just sent him away. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I see. So you want the sympathy. Like, no, but he, like, he but... died to me. <laughs> sounds awful. Got too fat, and we couldn't keep him. <laughs> it was my mum's fault. She fed him too much. It's okay. Okay, and, that, and that, in spirit of that, I'd have like a fat zebra color. <laughs> yeah. You had a Talk panda. That it sounds like. Uh, Wes James. I. Your cat color, please. I am seriously <laughs> terrified of cats. They're kind of evil, satanic things. I love dogs. Yeah, I love dogs. But... I have a Shih Tzu named Cassie. Nice, Cassie. Yeah, color, color cat. Um... <laughs> Think about this. Make sure you get the right answer. Yeah. This is really important. To... Glad. Sorry, just take your time. A lot of pressure. Charcoal. Oh. Charcoal. Those are, that's like actually a legitimate answer. Yeah. yeah. Like charcoal cats are beautiful. It's a really technical cat answer, like charcoal. I thought he was going to say beige. <laughs> Ch Khaki. <laughs> Khaki. Uh, we should move on. <laughs> move on. M moving forward. Uh, who's got the next question? Who's got, who's got a hand up? About right there. Hi. Um, I have a question. I was wondering what was the most physical task to perform? Great outfit. outfit, by the way. Yeah. Awesome yes. Outfit. Nice job. Awesome. Wait, what was the question? I was so distracted by your outfit. I was wondering what was the most like physically demanding task to perform for you guys, and then also what was like the like hardest for you guys to film? Because I know you're on set too, usually, right? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. You want to go first? Um. Yeah, the most physical demanding. Right? Uh, I'm still loving your outfit. Yeah, your outfit is amazing. You even have the wrist thing going. One? That's really good. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give the microphone.
him that I, I, I don't you, know I how it works. We're complimenting your cosplay. Thank you. The wrist, really good. Yeah, I was like, I wonder how these are made, and I realized I think you guys use socks, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Wool yeah. socks that were yeah, so that's what hot. I yeah. I know, I've been sweating all day at Comic Con inside the convention center. I'm like, it's freaking hot. I can't do this. I was like, we don't have any other thing that can <laughs> resemble. <laughs> they look cool. You've answered your own question. That was the hardest part the wristband. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My wrists sweating. Um, the hardest part, anytime I had to run and do those uh, griever sequences, um, uh, the whole sequence in the box we shot for like nine hours one day, and uh, I got, I have, I still have this gnarly uh, gash scar in my back from, because uh, it was real, that, that box, uh, it was real, it was a real rusty cage, and I had to just bang around it for like, <laughs> and not a lot of it even got used. Ye lovely to be an actor. Two and a half minutes. Uh, and um, yeah, I just like gashed my back open, and, and I'll never forget. Oh, no. Um, I, res I love it though. Uh, I'll never forget the medic coming up to me and just, you know, me being like, hey, I think, you know, something happened back here. And she's just like, oh, yeah, you're going to need stitches. And I was like, okay, how do we do that? And she was just like, oh, we're not going to be able to. We got to shoot, baby. She's like, I'll put some iodine on it real quick and it'll, it'll seal up right before tomorrow. And I was like, okay. And she's like, just try not to move too much. I was like, this is my life. And it's temporary. It's almost forever. You, you're, not, you're not taking. I'm any gonna more... get that tattooed still. Yeah, you should. Are you not taking any more questions on physical exercise? Are you um, <laughs> the toughest stuff I think was the night shoots, um, just because you're so exhausted and you're it's still hot at night and there's so many more bugs, um, and it, and it, the energy levels. Your mind just wants to shut down and you want to go to sleep. But we were so lucky because our group, our family, was so fun that the second one person was feeling a bit shit or a bit tired, Will would make a joke, or Chris would make a joke, or Dex would make a joke, and suddenly the energy was back, and, and we could go forward and, and do it. So um, I genuinely think if, if we weren't with these people, we, it would have been so much worse, because um, the boys are hilarious. They're just lovely human beings, and also funny and rude and dirty and great. Um, <laughs> smelly and, yeah. <laughs> Fun and yes. rude and dirty. I love it. Yeah. New Smurf cast. No, um, I think I... Um, it was just a slow burn. Of that. I, it was shit. It was a bit, um, you set me up by saying I was funny, and then I'm, now I'm failing. Um, <laughs> I think the hardest thing physically was uh, the wrestling scene. Me and Dill have like a wrestling scene in the movie. And it was really fun to rehearse, and it was a laugh. And we, we had fun doing it, but it was tough. It was like in the sand, it was like late at night and we had to really get it and it was, you know, we were under time constraints so that was, that was probably the toughest one for me because I don't do a whole lot of running in it, so that was it. Sometimes if I write for more than like two hours, I get this cramp right here. <laughs> so, it's pretty tough, pretty rough, pretty rough. I can't follow up, with, uh, that's great, good. <laughs> Wes is like, I give up. It was, it was all actually really tough to shoot. I mean, we were shooting in, in, in really hot weather in, in Louisiana there was one scene in particular that I remember just being so hot. It had just rained and it just became like this sauna that we were all sitting in, just drenched in sweat. And it yeah. was just awful. I remember it. And it's one of those scenes where you guys were at the door. Um, oh. But uh, it wasn't like a physical thing. It was just I remember feeling just so gross. Yeah. So it was a lot of days like that, basically. Well, Wes probably slept uh, a total of 20 hours over the course of the shoot, so that was probably rough. He got a great tan, though. Remember? True. I had an brown. awesome, awesome redneck. <laughs> Who's got the next question? Right here. All right. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'd like to say first off, I'm a huge fan of the book, and I'm really, really excited for the movie. Nice. Awesome. Can't, can't wait. Um, I have a question for Kaya. Uh, series three of Skin. I'm a big fan of Skins. Thank you. And series three is my favorite season of any television show ever. I love it so much. Thank you. I love to write, and that show also inspires my writing a lot, too. I love it. Uh, the DVD from Series 3 is my most prized possession. I bought it as soon, as soon as it came out in America. I really I have it like on my desk at all times. I love it so much. I was wondering, is there any way you could sign it, possibly? I'd, I'd really love to. Thank you so much, because uh, for us, Skins was such a tiny thing. We didn't think it was going to... It was just... We were just a group of friends doing this weird little project. So to know it's come all the way to America is really special. Thank you. Hey, do you want to throw it at me? How do we do this? If you, you know, if Pass it with the microphone. Hand it, hand it, hand it back it. down to the volunteers with a Sharpie, because I'm sure you're prepared. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. And, we'll, and I'll get it over to you. No problem. 
Who's got the next question? Right here. Hi, uh, my question is for Dylan. Um, um, some people have said you're on the edge of breaking out as a major actor, and you have done television shows as Teen Wolf and independent movies as, um, oh God, I just forgot the one. Uh, first time? The romance one. First time. And yeah, you're about, the, yeah, the first time. And you're, uh, I'm sorry. He knows his chick flicks. I'm sorry. And this is your, you could say, your first major film. Uh, what would you say is the difference between working on something that could just blow up and set you into the stratosphere and do you want that, or do you want to stick with more sort of low-end independent and kind of keep more as a more of anonymous actor? Uh, it's funny you say that. That's such a good point. Um, I don't have much decision in that, you know? Um, as an actor, the best I can do is follow the stories that I'm connected to and the roles that I want to, you know, go for and, and that I love. And this was one of them, and it's also something that can be something... Um, I guess more widely viewed than anything else I've ever done. Um, uh, also, I'm a very sort of you know private person, and and uh, I don't, I'm not necessarily somebody who loves to like go out on the street and take a bunch of pictures, you know, and and um, um, I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't, none of that really goes into my decision making though. I follow kind of what I feel you know is right for me and what I feel like I could do and the story that I feel I can tell. And this was something like that for me, and I never really thought of it as being something huge. Um, In fact, I think you could say that it, it, it might look big now that we've kind of gone through the post process, I think, but making it, it was very small. We were a small crew. We were two basic locations. Yeah. It was eight weeks. It was fast. It was, it was a nimble little shoot. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, it kind of it looks bigger than I think it was yeah, us ab making it. Absolutely. I mean, Wes made this movie look like $100 million, and it is probably a fourth of that. Um, and I don't think anybody really realizes that, nor is that really relevant. But um, but it felt very intimate and yeah. almost independent making it. Yeah, it's not like I ever was on set and I was just like, whoa, this is going to be, you know, I was going to Where's my pick. helicopter? You know, holy crap, I'm huge. Um, <laughs> that's a weird quote. <laughs> that gif, that gif, I'm gonna, or jif, I'm going to see everywhere. <laughs> I'm huge. Um, it's it's not something I think about in terms of that. You know, I very much separate my you know work as an actor and and my private life, and I like to you know be private. But I also accept the fact that that's not always going to be the case if I'm doing these things like that. And I do want to tell the story, and that trumps trumps that uh, anything like that overall. So uh, good answer. Can I give my great? We're done. Can I give my honest opinion? In 20 years, Oscar. all three of these people. People will look back at the Maze Runner and like, man, that's when their gigantic, enormous, humongous careers really, really took off. And not just these three. I mean, the rest of our actors are... That's right. They, they deserve a round of applause, too. We're talking about Mel and Keon. Yeah. yeah. The boys! I mean, and, and Blake, and I mean, I, I feel bad I'm leaving people out, but it's like everyone really came in and, and just delivered a really devoted a very heartfelt kind of performance and made these characters really real. Uh, so I really hope, personally, in 10 years, you're going to look at this and see these, these people that you're going to see and, you know, as, as regarded as good actors, you know, not just, you know, faces on a poster or something, you know. That's, that's sort of my little wish. Yeah, that was something we always talked about shooting, you know. Um, we thought, it, you know, at least this could be something so cool where, like, in 10, 15 years, Everyone, you know, if Maze Runner doesn't even do anything, but then like people can look back at that time and be like, oh wow, they're from Maze Runner. Oh wow, they were in Maze Runner. Like stuff like Outsiders that. Because it is seriously such a talented cast. I mean, I, I, I've never been surrounded like anything like it. You know, it's it's amazing. It's There's like fun. Thirteen of them too. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, next question, right over here. Um, hi guys, I was just wondering if there was um, you're absolutely you loved a part in the book. And I was just wondering if you didn't get to film it or you did film it, but it just didn't make the final cut. I don't want to give away any spoilers because uh, people are watching online. This will be available <laughs> online. Um, but there was a few things that we shot that we, uh, that we uh, had to cut out for pacing issues. What happened? Spoiler. <laughs> That was close. I'm just creeping like a creeper, yo. That's all I'm doing. I just wait for a little signature for Kevin. That's all, man. That's all. Yo, Dylan, can I get a photo with you, man? Can I get a photo? 
I'm sorry, keep talking. We're just screwing, we're completely remember. screwing up everything you're doing right now. Good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know the best way to do this. I thought I'd just wait. Wes was about to say something really profound, man. <laughs> and it's gone. It's gone forever. Uh, no! I saved you from spoiling things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I just don't want to give anything away, but it's maybe in the good. DVD, uh, uh, you'll see a lot of the cut scenes that we shot that didn't make it in the movie. I, I, w I kind of wish I, I got to beat up on Galley in the movie. Doesn't quite happen. Comes close. Comes close. That would have been cool, though. That's something a fight that... it, uh, We would have been hilarious with it, though. Be like, bro, did I punch you? <laughs> well, yeah, do you mind? To... Yeah, yeah. Without spoiling it, but people who've read the books probably already know what you're referring to, and it's, I think Wes made a really wise decision to, to save that moment, because it's a really important moment. I think it's going to happen later in the movies. Yeah, if we're lucky enough to make the, 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 the next two. <laughs> which, uh, you know. You guys all have to go see it, which, you know, uh, you know 50 to 60 times. It's all you, good. You might, I don't know, did, was anyone in Hall H? Yeah. Okay. So you saw some stuff that we're working on right now as we speak. I think T.S. Nolan right now is, is off writing the script right now in his hotel room. We're going to, we're looking to shoot it basically in, in autumn, the sequel. <laughs> That's great. I am available in autumn, so that's so nice. How well, fortuitous I, I, that we would somewhere in we'll that talk. fall, you know, winter zone. Backstage, green room. That's okay. Schedule. We'll text you. We'll text you. Right. Jorge. Could you? That's fine. That's right. Jorge and all those guys. Are, it's it's going to be epic. Can I you say look, something? You look like a Jorge. Hablas uh, español. Hablas español. Brenda, I see a Brenda right over there. <laughs> Yeah, but... <laughs> we'll talk later. No uh, I'll get you on the casting couch. I see, I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, oh, my God. Where has this gone? Uh, yes. Yes. Over there in the red shirt. Uh, first, Dylan, I'm surprised all the girls made it through all their questions without breaking down and actually finishing the questions. <laughs> I don't know if you want to applaud them or anything, right? Absolutely. Job, well, guys. I mean, it's a, uh, right. for me to applaud. Um, Why are you singling so, out Dylan on that que that question? I, I've been about, every, uh, all the panels yeah. I've been to with him, I, he's had two questions at least where the girl had to sit down and like <laughs> maybe get a hug or something. <laughs> Did you hug her? Were you there waiting? You're like, no. it's all right, babe. <laughs> it's okay, darling. Come here. I'll look after you. I got you. Um, I Sir, guess are you about to break down right now? Is that, what, is that what's happening? Absolutely. Are you projecting Absolutely. on the maybe, female maybe audience? Kaya, All right. Oh, um, so my question is for Will, Kaya, and Dylan. Um, for Kaya and Dylan, how is this different doing a big motion picture compared to your regular TV shows that you've been in, Skins and Teen Wolf? Uh, Dylan, I know you don't do that much action compared to the rest of your co-stars in your show, but... Um, and then also, Will, for you doing more action in your, your movie rather than the past recent movies that you've been in. Got you. Uh, do you guys want to go first? Or? Can I really quickly, sorry, my friend's awake in England and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning and she's got a newborn baby. Can I say hello to her? Of course you can. Hannah, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> oh, ah, you're amazing. You can go sleep now. It's fine. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Are you the action. Uh, how is it different uh, doing skins than doing the action pack? Well, it's film? like, I think it goes back to what I said before. It, it shouldn't be different. You should always put the same amount of effort into everything you do. Um, the one major difference that I noticed is that on these big, like, studio films, there's a lot more free shit. Uh, like, <laughs> free food. And, uh, and that's really good. You can get, like, donuts at lunchtime and stuff. That was a bonus. Um, but I think uh, the how work. do you look like that if you don't do physical exercise and Love you eat donuts? Food. I, I don't shit get a it. lot. Oh. <laughs> You're going to see that gif more, I guarantee you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not worried about mine at all now. <laughs> You're in the clear, bro. I'm in the clear. You're in the clear now. But we can say anything now, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. I went there. Um, funny enough, man, it actually, it, is, it was not that much different uh, as far as pace goes. Um, on the scale of movies, this was very much uh, similar to how Teen Wolf is as a TV show. It's, it's, lower, it's lower budget for what it, I guess it's trying to do. It's entirely ambitious. Um, and Wes, you know, and I talked about that uh, sort of before I even had the part. We were just talking about what, how, what the shoot would entail and 
uh, how many weeks we had to do it and how you know we would need maybe double that at least. Um, not at least, like double that. Um, and he was like, it's kind of good that you're on the show that you know moves really fast because you know we're gonna be moving really fast. And, um, and that's the case. If funny enough, it wasn't, um, it wasn't much different from the pace that I'm used to. And, uh, and then character wise, it's just, you know, it's, it's a different thing sort of like, you know, on a TV show, you kind of get to develop someone over the course of like however many seasons your show runs and, um, and you kind of go with it uh, as, as it gets made up, you know, it's kind of getting made up as you go along. And in a movie, you kind of just have this arc set in stone and you kind of just go and try to attack it and do, do the best you can and uh, you don't get a sh second shot at it. Um, um, so, you know, different in some ways, similar in more ways than maybe you'd think, though, funny enough. And that's the professional way to answer a question. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to mine. But the entertaining way, <laughs> right over here, man. Um, I, I would have said, yeah, like, really lucky to, to um, you know, done, like, a mix of comedy and drama. So that, that's been really cool for me. And, um, yeah, I don't know whether I'm necessarily, like, looking to do more action in, in, in the in the drama or comedy that I kind of like hope I'll end up doing. But um, like Kyra and Dylan, basically not kind of guided by that so much, more character and, you know, the integrity of the quality and just working with, with people like, you know, like Wes and, and, and people like James who write great material. That's, that's, you know, at the heart of the decision I make, you know. I have a related question on that. Will, which scene did you enjoy more, wrestling with Dylan or making out with Jennifer Aniston? I'm gonna uh, like like I'm gonna Easy answer one. that. Je <laughs> Je Jennifer Anderson did not enjoy the makeout scene. I say that um, not so much. But I will say, I will say I might, I'd much rather be touching Dylan O'Brien than Jennifer Aww. Aniston. Yeah. And on Easy that question, Dashna. Next. <laughs> Perfect um, answer. Perfect. On, on that note, we actually, I, ha I hate to be the bearer of bad news, no! but that's the end of the panel. I am so sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's give a round of applause Thank for our incredible panel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Keep your microphones on. You take your mics off the stage with you. Take your mic. So listen, I need, I need you to stay in your seats for, actually, oh, this is the perfect excuse to stay in your seats. Where did my phone go? Where did my phone go? Selfie. I'm taking a picture. Oh, wait, no. What am I taking a picture with my phone? Give me your phone. You're all going to be a part of this, aren't you? 